Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Feed the Beast mod packs using the new Feed the Beast launcher. Recently Twitch and Feed the Beast split up. They went separate ways, which is perfectly fine, but that means how you install Feed the Beast mod packs has changed incredibly over the past literally two weeks. So I want to do a new tutorial on the new FTB launcher in order to make sure you all could get FTB mod packs just like you've always been able to. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour Minecraft server running many of these Feed the Beast mod packs. Everything from Feed the Beast Ultimate to Feed the Beast Continuum to even like Skyblock by Feed the Beast, right? All of those. All of these mod packs are Stoneblock as well from by Feed the Beast. All of them can be set up with just a few clicks at Apex Minecraft Hosting. Literally like four clicks and you are running a Feed the Beast mod pack over at Apex Minecraft Hosting. So they are truly the best way to host a Feed the Beast server. You can check out Apex Minecraft Hosting again at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. And we actually like them so much that we host our own server, Play Break breakdowncraft.com on them so we really put our money where our mouth is with apex they're great check them out if you want to feed the beast server the breakdown.xyz slash apex first link down below nevertheless let's go ahead and get feed the beast mod packs installed now this is going to work for all feed the beast mod packs the process is going to be the exact same now one thing i will say is that this page right here might change they are as you can say working on a new website so it's very very possible that these download setup exactly how this looks might change and if it does the link in the description down below will not take you here it will take you to our website where we will have an updated download process in the tutorial that is on that article right so it'll take you to an article like this one for the twitch app except it'll be for feed the beast and it will show you the updated download page and how to download there that is one of the things that we're going to do if this changes drastically now if the button layout is the same and everything but it's just the background changes we're not going to do that but if it does change you will be able to uh, get a more update tutorial via the description down below. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the Windows download here. It will then download in the bottom left. You actually won't need to keep this file on Google Chrome. On Mozilla Firefox, you will need to save the file, but it is 100% safe to do so. Now, if we go ahead and minimize our browser here, on the desktop, we do have the Feed the Beast launcher. If that isn't on your desktop, go ahead and click the Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and click on that Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in Downloads here, and then you have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Then in here, you'll have the Feed the Beast launcher. Drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's get the Feed the Beast launcher installed. To do that, pretty simple. Double click on it, and it's going to install just like any other program that you're pretty much used to installing. So as you can see here, since this is your first time using the launcher, we suggest setting an install directory. That's going to be perfectly fine. Just leave that default and click apply. Once you've done that, it will go ahead and start installing. Now, as you can see, it's opening up and it might say error. Oh no, that's not good. It's okay. If it says error, it's perfectly fine. Just let it keep going. Let it do its thing. It's going to finish. Just sit back and wait. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to sit back and wait a minute. And then uh, whenever everything is done and everything is downloaded, we will be good to go. There we go. Just like that, we waited it out and it's still going here. It's still adding some different textures and things, but this is the FTB launcher that uh, basically we all know and love from way back in the day. Now this will be seeing some updates, but overall we expect it to basically be a similar setup as to what it is right here. So I'm gonna give you a tour of this. I'm also gonna show you how to select your Minecraft account and all that stuff. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and start off by kind of giving you a tour of everything. So news is where you'll be able to keep up with news about FTB. So as you can see, for example, we have the uh, FTB Infinity Evolved mod pack, the you know other mod pack news here, Feed the Beast Horizon 3, all sorts of awesome stuff in FTB news there. Even the Twitch and FTB partnership will be ending is there. If you click on options here, you'll be able to see how much RAM you have dedicated to Feed the Beast. Feed the Beast mod packs are pretty intensive and I would recommend at least six gigabytes of RAM. However, check out the guide at the top of your screen or in the description down below for how much RAM you should actually add to Minecraft. I'll show you how to see how much RAM you have and all of that stuff. You can, as you can see, reopen launcher after XD Minecraft and all that stuff is here as well. You can play around with that as much as you would like. FTB mod packs is where you're actually going to be able to see all of the mod packs that Feed the Beast currently has. As you can see, they are all here. Every single one of them that was on Twitch is now on the Feed the Beast launcher here. We're going to be installing today FTB Unlimited because that is, or sorry, FTB Ultimate because that's one of my old favorites. But there it is. FTB presents Sco Stoneblock, Sky Adventures. We've got um, Sky Odyssey. All of these are here and ready for you to check out and play, right? 
But before we can play any of them, we need to select a profile. So to do that, come down here to the bottom left of the FTP launcher, click on that Select Profile button, and then click Create Profile. Now this is where you're going to enter in your Minecraft username and password. This is going to be of the same Minecraft username and password that you use to log into this Minecraft launcher here, right? This normal Minecraft launcher, that is what is going to go in these boxes right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick, and then once we do that, I will um, see you to log right on in. There we go. I've got my username, my password, and then I've named this profile Nick's Games because that's the Minecraft account that this is. Then go ahead and click Add. Now you can either remember the password or not. It is up to you, and then click Add there. Then you should see your username, whatever you called this profile, whether it's your email or the account username, if you renamed it like I did, that's going to be there. Then you want to select the FTB mod pack that you want. So in my case, we're going to be doing FTB Ultimate, but it's going to be the same process. Just click on whatever mod pack you want, right? Sky Adventures, Stone Block, Continuum, whatever it is, click on it, and then click Launch down here in the bottom right of the launcher. It should have an image right here. It should say like FTB Ultimate Reloaded, for example, or Stone Block, or Sky Adventures. And when it does say that there, you're going to go ahead and click the Launch button in the bottom left of the launcher. Then you'll be able to see it start doing things. So as you can see, it's downloading the mod pack up here in the top left, getting everything downloaded, doing everything, and then eventually, once it's all set up and it's all good to go, it will allow us to launch right on into the mod pack there. So it's in the launch process, and the reason you know it's in the launch process is it's downloading things and doing things. And as you can see, checking slash downloading 1,359 access. This may take a while. So what we're going to do is just sit back, relax, I'm going to do a quick jump cut, and then whenever these files are done downloading here, as you can see it also says downloading files on the server of your screen, when that's all done, we'll be able to continue on with this tutorial. So let's do a quick jump cut until everything's downloaded, and then we'll continue right on. So after the download was complete, as you can see, FTB automatically opened here, and uh, it opened in basically full screen for us, which is a bit odd. So uh, I'm going to do some resizing here in order to, normally I wouldn't recommend doing this by the way, but we have enough RAM allocated to FTB for it not to most likely crash whenever it is opening up if I do a resize. Normally I wouldn't recommend resizing a mod pack while it's opening up, but nevertheless, there we go. So we can see, if we do like full screen here, we can see that we do have this up here, going through things, setting things up. You should never really have to worry about this. You could even minimize it, however, there is FTB setting everything up, doing everything, initializing mods and all that stuff. This is also going to take a while. You know, it took us about three to four minutes to download all of the mods, and then it automatically opened up the mod pack, just so you all know. Once it's done downloading all the mods, it will automatically open the mod pack and launch it up for you. Then it has to go through and enable all of those mods. This will be long the first time. After this first time, it'll be a lot quicker. So just know that and know that mod packs can open quicker. You just have to get through like this first setup where it's downloading and then initializing everything. So nevertheless, we're going to go ahead, wait until this is done, do another jump cut, and I will meet you on the main menu of this FTB mod pack, and we'll be, we'll be good to go. There we go. As you can see, we are now on the main menu of FTB Ultimate Reloaded. I do want to mention one more thing. If you have like a freeze during startup, if it lags, if it you know, goes white, for example, Minecraft goes white, freeze, any of that stuff, that is because you don't have enough RAM added, usually. So make sure you go back and add more RAM. We added six gigabytes at the beginning of this video. I showed you how to do that. However, go back, add more RAM, and then you should be able to launch it up. Just make sure you're not using more RAM than your computer has, because then it won't launch at all, and you'll have all sorts of other issues. So yeah, nevertheless, that is how you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a single player world real quick. Create just a new single player world. I'm gonna create it in creative, because why not? Pro tip, always make sure that you come in here and like, you know, pick a uh, custom world type if you can, right? And as you can see with this one, we can just do customized. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do a customized world type. Just leave it as default, but it's gonna be customized. And then we can create the world and launch right on in. So again, we're gonna do one final jump cut until we're in game and then we'll be good to go. We'll be done and you will have installed an FTP mod pack. Again, this process is the exact same for every single FTP mod pack. Select it in game, enter your profile information and click launch. That simple and that easy. And then you'll be uh, you'll be playing any FTB mod pack you want on the new launcher, not using Twitch. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, quick jump cut, and I'll see you once we're in game. Here we are. We are now in game. We do have our bonus chest here, and how oh, cool is that? If you select a bonus chest, it gives you like custom things, like mod pack related things. That is pretty cool. I don't know how to use this tree tap. I'm not gonna lie, but nevertheless. I don't think there's any denying that this is a mod pack. We do have a mini map here. We've also got this that comes up, as you can see. You can do like mine together. I, I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's pretty cool. But then you can also do commands here and all that stuff. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. We can also hit E and we'll see that we do have um, basically all of the, you know, not enough item stuff in here. We can then click over and see all of the different mod pack related things we have. The one probe probe, uh, you know, industrial craft two, immersive engineering, Tesla core, industrial foregoing, all of this awesome mod related stuff. Project red, 
um, Project X. We've got Reliquary there as well. We've got World Control, Wireless Redstone CV. I mean, just so much awesome stuff. We've got Bibliocraft there. All of these awesome mods, build pipes, chisel, awesome stuff. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of awesome modded stuff. By the way, we were just on page six of nine, right? I mean, it just keeps going and going and going and going and going with all the incredible stuff that FTB has added into this. We've even got iron chest there. So tons of cool and amazing things in this mod pack. And like I said, this is one of my favorite mod packs because it has so much awesome custom stuff. But yeah, nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And as this changes, if for example, they even change their launcher completely FTB, there'll be a link in the description down below that will take you, the first link at the beginning will actually take you to our website and it will show you a tutorial on our website with an updated video even and all that stuff if they do change it. But currently, uh, right after FTB did change their launcher setup and moved away from Twitch, that is how you can um, download and install FTB mod packs. For Minecraft. So pretty awesome stuff there. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Come join us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have incredible grief protective survival with our medieval survival having over 30 custom quests and our aquatic survival server having slash shop. We also have an awesome custom skyblock setup. That is a huge treat. We have a custom skyblock setup that you will absolutely love. We have OP enchants, a balanced economy, and a super friendly community over there. So again, come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I can't wait to see you online. This is a pretty cool volcano. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.